Today I have the boys here and we are doing NBA Truth and a Lie. Woo! Yeah. The boys are going to be answering trivia questions and they're going to be trying to fool each other. The first question, what NBA player was nicknamed the Pink Panther? The boys are all going to be answering NBA trivia questions and then everyone's answers will be on the board. They're going to try to guess which is the true answer and hope to fool everyone else with their answers. 10 points for getting it right, 5 points for every player fooled, and minus 5 points if they fall for my lie. <laughs> Should I just do that afterwards? <laughs> yeah, sure. I can see Jeff putting Dennis. Tony Kukoc. Jeff definitely doesn't even know who that is. Yeah, this is process so, of elimination. That's why I kind of think it's him. I've don't... never heard the Pink Panther before. It's the European dude that Michael Jordan tried to like destroy. Y'all didn't watch Last Dance? We watched Are Last Dance, but we don't remember. No, I'm telling you who that is. Like, no one calls John Stockton the Pink Panther because he was getting hella steel. You put that. <laughs> now you, I know that that's who you wrote. Starting with Mitchell. What answer you think is right, man? Um, okay. Who is that? That's the Pink Panther. All right, Chris. I know I talked a lot of- No, it's not. Why would you pick Dennis? I think it is Tony. Because isn't his name Tony the Tiger? Pink Panther's name is Tony the Tiger. We're not even the same animal. Ricky Rubio. He was known as the flying insect. Bro, everyone's putting something different. Actually? No. Stop. Ricky Rubio was Mitchell's lie. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Ron Harper was my lie. Ah. I didn't know James was out here capping on us too. Dennis Rodman, this was Jeff's lie. <laughs> I called it, I mean, I went with it. Tony Kukoc was the truth. Uh, yeah! You guys get 10 points for getting it right. Oh, what? Hell yeah. The NBA first came to basketball in 1946, and one of the teams was the Providence Blank. James, we don't go on Reddit every day, bro. Maybe I don't know what Providence means. It's a player. Providence, it's in Rhode Island, dude. Is that a real answer, Jeff? I'll change it. <laughs> I'll just... Guys, how are you struggling? The name of a team. Mitchell, if it's any consolation, Jeff's first guess was even worse. What was your first guess? Wouldn't you like to know? Crabs? Crabs is him. Crabs is Jeff. Echo fishes? <laughs> Providence bears sounds good. Providence bears? Yeah, you gotta like say them out loud. You gotta feel for them. What the f is a hackle fish? Have you ever heard of a team being multiple of an animal? Chicago bears. Jaguars. Lakers. Clippers. Warriors. Angels. <laughs> Jesse, would you like to go first? No. Okay. Chris, would you like to go first? <laughs> Between Islanders and Red Coat. No, because steam Providence steamrollers. Dude, steamrollers just doesn't seem real. So I'm gonna go. I think it is steamrollers. Hacklefish is tickling a little bit, but I feel like it's between Islanders and steamrollers. What does Providence mean again? It's a place in Rhode Island. Uh, Rhode Island. Oh, uh, uh, that, makes that is good. All right, the obvious answer is Islanders. That's a James curveball. Hacklefishes? United hacklefishes. No, they're not combined. There's no way it's united. I'll go with the steamrollers. Providence Blue Crabs, that actually kind of makes sense. So an owner said, you know what? We're going to be the Providence Blue Crabs. Bro, there was a team that was literally named Supersonics. Supersonics is way cooler than Blue Crabs. Islanders was Zach's lie. That's 10 points for Zach. <laughs> Zach was finessing us after we already got finessed. Steamrollers was the truth. Oh. Yeah! I had it on there, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the creator of the NBA Jam video game was such a hater of the Chicago Bulls that he embedded a special code in the game that the Chicago Bulls blank. I guess this is a sentence that we fill in. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Wait, Mitchell, you texted me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a try hard answer. Could not break the backboard. What if you dupe yourself? Do you get points? No. I was feeling the same thing. All right, you want to go put it up there then? No. I got to see where Chris puts his. What the f***? <laughs> I'm to go between the two. Take a bold for grammar and put, would never win the tip off. You put that on your own answer. I already know that is what you wrote. Chris, what are you thinking, man? I think missing last second shots, that's just <laughs> up. See, I feel like the Chicago Bulls guy, if he hates them that much, he wants it more of a disrespectful statement, like they would always lose the tip-off. We're going lose. All right. Would never win the tip-off was Jeff's lie. Jeff, you... I, I thought that was the right answer. You tricked yourself. You tricked yourself. You wanted someone to follow you with yeah, you, bro? Yeah. Trying to lure people over to your lie? The Chicago Bulls would have worse stats than it shows. That was my lie. Oh. oh. 
Always lose the tip off. That was Zach's lie. Uh, you guys even said it was the wrong ground. Because he didn't want you voting. That's for why it, you bro. agreed with my statement. Miss all last second shots. That is the truth. That is such what? a fucked up code. I grew up on that game, bro. This isn't fair. He was around when this game was made. This is for the NBA. It used to be illegal in 1910. I'm following Zach this round. Don't follow me, bro. Mm, those are devastating. <laughs> you can't even hide it. Which one sticks out to you guys the most right now? Pump fakes. fakes. Between touching the rim and dunking. Wait, what? I'm going Duncan. Duncan. I'm just following Chris. Goes for Duncan? Mm, bro, they wasn't dribbling back then. So it's just illegal to dribble? I think that's a different sport, guys. Wow, we got two votes for dribbling, two votes for dunking? <laughs> There's no doubt about it. All right. Dunking was my lie. What? James, I hate you. Why do you feel this way? Because you texted me too close to the wrong or the right answer. No, I said too close to my lie or the right answer. Dribbling was the truth. Yeah, remember James did a video of the original basketball rules. All right, we are doing a quick halftime speed round. The way this is going to work, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to go down the line. When I point at you, immediately say truth or lie. If you hesitate, you get it wrong. Basketball became an Olympic sport in 1936. Truth. False. Truth. Truth. False. It was true. Basketball was invented by a Canadian. No. False. 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 True. 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 James Naismith was a Canadian? He was. Kobe Bryant met Vanessa at a movie set. True. Yeah. Um. Wrong. True. False. True. Dude, it, was a, it wasn't a music video? It was a music video, not a movie set. That's why I, was, I hesitated, because I didn't know if you were being technical or not. Can I get a point for that? I knew it, I just didn't know. If, you hesitated. I'll get one, one point, please. We'll give you one point. No! It's one point, you get five! <laughs> How many points do I have? I had a brain fart. <laughs> give me one. Basketball was invented as an indoor sport for the winter. False. 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 True. 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 Damn. All right, now boys, the questions are about to get a lot more interesting. I know you guys felt like Zach had an unfair advantage, so we're, we're switching to the modern era of NBA for the last, and we're doing double points for the last yeah. four rounds. Can we get a score check? You can get a score check. We don't need a score check. Zach, would you like a score check? I don't give a I know I'm winning. I would, I would like to check my score. I don't know, I was alive during this time too. Zach doesn't age. He's a monkey lie. You called him a monkey? A monkey what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he did not say The white dude Heard monkey what did too. you say then? I said he's a homunculus. Homunculus? What even is that? Bro, I was watching this anime and the homunculus don't age. Oh, it's a character in anime. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try to give Jesse the benefit of the doubt. Or he's just pandering to the Asian guy. It's an anime. <laughs> That's what he did at the celeb game too. The score check. Mitchell, one point. I don't know how you ended up with one point. How many points do I have? I had a break. Give me one. Chris, one point. Okay, let's go. That makes me positive. I'm cheered now. Jess, you got 30. Damn. Jeff, you got 45. What? What? Zach, you have 70. Oh, okay. Giannis's original last name was blank before it was changed to the Greek translation. James. This is modern players. You want us to know African descent original names? Mitchell, are you sure that's what you want your answer to be? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm not gonna let you change your answer. This dude put Jonathan. <laughs> All right, here we go. A kumpo? <laughs> A tento baseki. <laughs> tento baseki. <laughs> I can assure you guys, I I didn't write that one. This was his family's last name in Nigeria. When they gained Greek citizenship, the Greeks changed it to his modern. I'm doing that one. Oh. I thought it was like, what does Anton Makumpo mean in the English language? So you put ITO star. <laughs> Well, you guys are all doing that one. Wow, okay. Well, because ant in Greek means ideal. <laughs> Mitchell, give it up, dude. I know Ade is African. Wow, everyone has voted for the same thing so far. Do I go with the crowd? You need to get the lead right here. That's what I'm saying. Somebody just made out like a yeah, bandit, so, dude. Yeah, someone's got that one. Let's take it, lead. Edeto Kunbo, all five of you <laughs> thought that was right. And it was. Yes. NBA superstar Joel Embiid is known for having the bizarre eating habit of blank, and it has nothing to do with Shirley Temples. <laughs> I was dead ass about to go there. Yeah. Mitch, I'll let you change your answer if you want. Oh, I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't let him. All right, fine, I won't let him change. <laughs> That's a bit <laughs> racist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
bizarre eating habit of baked ziti. So we got only eating with hands and one not using fork. Licking his food, like what is, like he licks all his food. That's really weird. You're ready to answer. I don't know, the other ones just seem, I mean it's bizarre. You would have huge gloves. I, I could see means. someone not wanting to use silverware. And no, eating with your hands. All right, two votes for wearing gloves. I could, I could see him needing his food like severely cooked. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I'll let you move if you want. Bro, that's like cash. Not using floor. I'm gonna move mine after Jeff puts his on. I don't think having all his food burnt. I'm gonna move mine. Eating habit having the food burnt. Oh, yes. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, do you want to wear, uh, keep it there or do you want to keep it back on gloves? I would like to have it on wearing gloves. Not using forks. Zach's lie. Yeah, you got yourself. Wearing gloves. This was Chris's lie. Let's go. <laughs> I try, I literally I tried to tell you. you. What no, are, why are y'all voting for lies? No, Having his food That's severely burnt. The truth. Yes. Mm. NBA Hall of Famer, blank. Only played two years of high school after being caught during his freshman and sophomore years. Well, this is obvious. Come on, James, you think we're casuals out here? Um. I'll go first. Oh, you're voting right away. No thoughts. Big Charles, he's too thick. <laughs> I don't think he was always thick. I'm going to. Got him. Nah, I'm going to pull a you, bro. I think, I think it's this guy. Yes. You think it's Lady yes. Legend? Yes. I just had to make sure since you can't vote for yourself. All right, Zach, where are you going, bro? I think I remember hearing something about this. Is that on, this on Charles? Magic Johnson was Chris's lie. Come on, a real baby. Larry Bird was Mitchell's lie. <laughs> hey, you gotta Damn. get back. Can I get the truth once? Charles Barkley was the truth. Let's go. Wow. All right, final round. Chris, 51 points. Mitchell, 61 points. Let's go. Jeff, 65 points. Jesse, 90 points. What? Damn. Zach, 110. All right, I have to dupe all of you and get the truth. I'm feeling like this should be a triple points round. The NBA was formerly known as the BAA and consisted of 11 teams until 1949 merger with the blank. I don't know if I understand this question. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what does the BAA stand for? Wait, I don't want to change that. Unsend. You can unsend? <laughs> unsend. <laughs> this motherfucker, bro. Here we go. Bank of America? BNA is just dyslexic NBA. I'm also going with that one. I think like Athletic Basketball Association or something. Athletic Basketball Association? No, uh, not applicable. I think it's Bank of America. No, it's Basketball of America. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I would guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach, vote. <laughs> Wait, I can't guess with Zach. Dude, what is, what is this bullshit <laughs> with the switches? ABA was Chris's lie. I'm pissed. I would have three <laughs> people, bro. You just got 30 points. That's a lot. You could literally get 60 if you get it right. Now, it sucks for you, Chris, that this is a triple points round because BNA was my lie. <gasps> Damn. I literally Boy, just went there just because, it, like, oh my. And NBL was the truth. Yes! All right, the final score is Chris, 66. That answer f***ed me. Well, you shouldn't have fallen for my lie. Jesse, 90. Yeah! Mitchell, 91. <laughs> Jeff, 95. Nice. And Zach, 110. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Thank you guys for watching NBA Truth and a Lie. Click up here to see the NBA prices right, too. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.